Hello, Sandy here. Welcome to another Friday Findings video at my YouTube channel and my blog. Often when we make jewelry we use chain or bead stringing wire to put it together, but sometimes it's nice to use something else, like a kind of fiber. And you may have wondered how to finish jewelry made with those. So today I'm going to show you how to use cord ends. So here I have an assortment of cord ends, and they are made for finishing off jewelry that's made with something other than your usual bead stringing wire and crimps or chain. These are great for if you're using leather cord, and you can see here's an example of a necklace with the ends finished, so there's a nice jump ring and clasp on the ends of a leather necklace, or it could be a bracelet. You can also use silk fibers. These are wonderful for stringing on large hole beads. And of course you could always make a knot at the back, but it's really so much nicer to finish them with a cord end. There are all kinds of things. There's wide leather, there's narrow leather, colored leather, there's even cotton string, there's round leather cord and you could find cord ends to finish off any of those fibers that you want. As you can see here, they're all basically the same shape. They have a U-shaped channel, and often they have a little tooth right at the end of it, and that helps grip onto your fiber. And then there's a loop at the other end for adding a jump ring or a clasp. So they're all pretty much the same shape. They don't all have the tooth. It depends on what they are. These ones are springs. If you have a coiling tool, you could actually make these yourself. And you can see they come in different sizes. So for example, these little ones might be good for this cotton cord, which is pretty small. But you'd need one of these bigger ones for like this leather cord. Now I strongly recommend when you use these, once you're ready to finalize your jewelry design, to add a drop of strong glue so that you know your piece isn't going to come out. Like I showed you, some have the assurance of that little tooth, but not all of them do. So here's a little bit of leather cord, and let's say I wanted to put it in here. You can just set it in there and then you can use chain nose or flat nose pliers and you just squeeze one side down. Flat nose actually work great for this and then you could flatten down the other side. These coil type ones are great for a round fiber. You can just pop that in there. A little drop of glue wouldn't go amiss. Let's start at the end furthest from the loop and just grab a coil or two and give them a squeeze. Just kind of work your way up. Until your cord is nice and secure in there. And then you can trim the excess. Like I said, these come in different sizes for different types of fibers. These little ones might be perfect for the silk fibers or the cotton smaller ones something bigger for something beefier. They come in all different colors and finishes to match your jewelry. So I hope you found that helpful and now you'll consider stringing your jewelry on other materials. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have an idea for another Friday Findings video, please feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll see what I can do about it. In the meantime, check out the other two videos up on the screen. You can follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and on my blog. Happy creating. Bye-bye.